Hey there everybody, Scudder here today and hope you guys are doing great although this is kind of a semi-grim video um, I still thought I'd bring this information to you um, just maybe as an FYI um, and potentially um, some help for future events as most of you know um, because of the earthquake and tsunami over in Japan they have been having problems at one of the nuclear plant facilities and it was um, two of the reactors they were having problems with cooling and as of late Saturday evening uh, it was reported that a third reactor is having problems and um, the officials from Japan did a press conference um, late in the night. It was about, I want to say about 2 a.m. Um, American time and said that they are still having problems now and that potentially they could be in the midst of a meltdown of two of the reactors. And all of this has brought up um, the topic among some folks about what happens if they have a full-blown meltdown over there how will that affect us in the United States and one of the problems that we potentially could face in the United States um, probably more so on the West Coast but it could potentially affect the entire United States is the fact that the trade winds blow um, across the country when you're looking at a map. So when it comes across the Pacific Ocean, and I'll show you a map of this in a minute, um, those winds blow from Japan coming towards the United States. And so those winds, if the particles are in the air, it could potentially blow that radio um, that radiation over here to us. So people have been discussing now what possible precautions they could take um, to protect themselves and their families and there isn't a hundred percent cure-all um, but there is something known as potassium iodide and I'm going to explain what that is. When um, when radiation poisoning occurs, it attacks the thyroid gland in our bodies, and that's where it filters through. And the potassium iodide helps to prevent the thyroid from becoming infected. Now, this is not a cure-all, and it doesn't protect you 100% in the rest of your body from radiation poisoning, but it does help with protecting the thyroid which is the part of your body that is affected first from radiation poisoning. I'm going to read you something from the CDC just to give you an idea um, of what this is. It says following a radiological or nuclear event radioactive iodine may be released into the air and then be breathed into the lungs. Radioactive iodine may also contaminate the local food supply and get into the body through food or through drink. When radioactive materials get into the body through breathing, eating, or drinking, we say that internal contamination has occurred. In the case of internal contamination with radioactive iodine, the thyroid gland quickly absorbs this chemical. Radioactive iodine absorbs, absorbed by the thyroid can then injure the gland because non-radioactive KI acts to block radioactive iodine from being taken into the thyroid gland, it can help protect this gland from injury. So what happens is, is that when you take the potassium iodide, it saturates the thyroid gland because that's where the iodine is filtered through in your body. And so therefore, if you are already saturated with the potassium iodide if you were to get radiation iodine poisoning the 
thyroid gland would already be full and therefore the radiation iodine would just pass on through your body it wouldn't affect or the gland so <coughs> excuse me so people are asking um, is this something that they need and it's always a good idea um, I think to have it on hand um, just in your your everyday prepping because anything could happen um, you know we know that there's threats of you know nuclear terrorist attacks and things like that so we all worry about that but as we see with these reactors over there in Japan uh, the same thing could happen here in the United States at any given time if there was a disaster or um, you know they had a breakdown or something like that so this would at least um, give you a fighting chance um, to have a little bit more protection from the radiation uh, now it's recommended that you want to get 130 milligram tablets um, and you take one of those a day um, and you can take a dosage up to 14 days if needed and then there's a smaller dosage for children and if you get any um, it should have the dosage of course the dosage is smaller for children and it's more important for children um, than adults to be protected against this uh, because the children the younger they are the more susceptible they are to the radiation poisoning uh, the older adults get they're not quite as susceptible but of course um, you know in a full out um, you know explosion or um, especially people that are close to the fallout zones would um, be affected so um, I noticed that it the on um, the websites that are selling the potassium iodide um, are selling out uh, and after today rather quickly and I'm going to show you a little bit of evidence of that as well um, there are three known manufacturers of potassium iodide in the United States that are approved by the FDA and I don't know if that's important to you or not um, IOSAT is one of them uh, and then there are two others and you can read that information on the wiki link that I'll put in the description section below and check the links below because I'll have a bunch of links uh, down there um, there are other manufacturers of some I bought some off of Amazon tonight um, and it was about half the price of IOSAT and it's basically the exact same thing um, same ingredient everything um, so and it was about half price so uh, you know I guess it just is uh, in accordance to whether or not you give 100 percent full trust to the FDA or you don't care as long as you're being protected so um, but anyway I wanted to just tell you guys about this because in the event of those reactors going into full meltdown over there there is the potential for the fallout to come here to the United States uh, and it'll affect people of course on the western side of the country before well the eastern side of the country so you guys can think about it if you want to get it uh, it would probably be a good idea to just have some on hand uh, you know just in case uh, because there certainly could be other emergencies that could happen um, right after I get through talking here I'm gonna do another uh, screenshot of some websites and I'll do a little bit of commentary about that just to kind of show you guys some stuff about it and give you a little more information to go on so anyway uh, if you want to get some I would suggest probably ordering it now because it's selling out all over the place because of this um, event in Japan um, and it may be harder to obtain for a while so you guys take care watch the rest of this and I hope it helps somebody okay we're gonna do some screenshots here uh, just to show you guys and I also wanted to say before I go through these websites real quick um, that this isn't meant to be fear-mongering or anything of that nature this is just a precautionary um, measure uh, just in case and just to give you guys some additional information that you may not have known about um, and so that you can take that information um, you know and use it in your prepping uh, skills and um, things that you're doing just for your own family uh, you know for other such future events so I just wanted to make sure 
um, that I stated that so that nobody says I'm fear mongering or uh, causing an alarm or crying wolf or anything like that. Okay, um, right here, I'm going to show you guys this map right here. And um, you guys can see over here, and I'm sorry if this is blurry, I'm trying not to get too close. This is Japan right here. And this over here is the United States. So if they were to have a meltdown and those got into the up into the winds, into the trade winds, then this is the route that it would take. Um, the trade winds, I believe, go in a clockwise motion like that. Oops, sorry. So, and this is a map saying that it would the, show in the rads. Um, the yellow is 750 rads, the orange is 1500 rads, and the red is 3000 rads. Um, and it's showing the difference, how many rads would be and how many days. And they're giving an estimate of it would take about 10 days to get to the United States. So that's just giving you guys a map to show um, the direction that it would blow in. Uh, let's see what's next. I'm just going to show you guys this. This is a website, and I'll put the link below. Um, it has a lot of good information um, about nuclear radiation um, and things like that. Um, this is the KI4U um, website. So um, you can, may want to read up. There's a lot to read on that website. Um, this is the CDC website, and it gives you information on um, potassium iodide. And one thing you guys need to remember, there is uh, potassium iodide potassium iodine and potassium iodate I believe um, so you need to pay attention to the spelling what you want to be getting is potassium iodide D-I-D-E and you'll see that K-I um, that's what you guys want to be getting you don't want to get the um, iodate or the iodine you want to get the iodide D-I-D-E so there's some uh, just general information from the CDC um, about it and it gives dosing um, who should take it who shouldn't take it um, uh, you know side effects and all that kind of stuff um, let me go over here uh, there's the wiki and I'll have all this linked in the bottom so you guys can read this um, now I'm going to show you this is one of the websites um, this is Anabex.inc, I believe. It's Anabex.com is the web address. It's Anabex Inc. Um, they sell IOSAT. Um, when I last checked, they did did still have it in stock. Now, by the time you watch this, they may not, um, but they did still have that uh, in stock at the time I checked it. Now, this is where I got mine from. I got mine from Amazon. And I got the Life Extension Potassium Iodide Tablets, 14 count. It says pack of two, but in the review it said it was only one pack. Um, but these are the 130 milligram um, packs, and they are 521. So that's about half price um, of what the IOSAT sells for, and it's the exact same thing. So that's what I ordered. There. Um, let me switch over here. This is from nukepills.com. Emergency preparedness products. And they do sell IOSAT and they sell Thyro Shield. But they are um, out of stock on this site. So they may get it back in, in stock. We don't know. Um, but there it is anyway. Um, I already showed you guys that. Okay. I wanted to show you something interesting just to kind of give you an idea of um, other people out there that are well aware. This is uh, on eBay. I looked it up on eBay. And you can see eBay. And let me refresh the page real quick. Um, you can see they have 397 available. And it's 1217 
for 120 tabs. Now these are the 32 milligram, not the 130. So if you guys are buying um, the 32 milligram, keep in mind that you'll have to take four of those a day. <clears throat> Excuse me, instead of the 100 the 130 milligram <clears throat> tabs that you don't have to take one of. On the 32 milligram tabs, you'll have to take four a day as an adult um, to take the amount that you would need to filter the uh, radiation out of the thyroid. But I wanted to show you guys something here. If you can see it, I'll try to be still. Um, right here, it says 102 sold. So I'm going to click on that just to show you guys, give you guys an example. And if you'll notice the dates on these, all yesterday, the 12th. All these sold. And that's only like, I don't know, 25 or so listings. So um, people are paying attention. And there are other aware people out there. And people are buying this up. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, um, you know, again, like I said, there's a lot of information on the Internet about this and uh, you guys could certainly do a lot of research on it and I hope that this has helped you guys you guys take care God bless we'll talk to you later bye bye